Hey bosses, it's Nina. So today I want to teach you all about embedding. Now embedding, first of all, I'm sure you're saying, what does embed mean? So embed to embed something means to put one thing inside of another, usually using code on the internet. So for example, I have my Pink Boss Academy here and I've added some GIFs, right, from this website, Jiffy. Um, and sometimes you'll see images, sometimes you'll see graphics, sometimes you'll see tweets. A lot of blogs and newspapers embed um, tweets into stories, videos, all kinds of stuff. So today I want to tell you about some techniques for social media posts that you probably didn't know you could embed, right? I'm just going to take you through how to get the code. Depending on where you put it, really you're just going to copy and paste that code. So that should be easy, but if you have any questions, let me know and you know I'll create a video for it. Okay, so the first one, I'm just going to show you the example that I already have. Um, I'm on Jiffy.com or Giphy, depending on how you say it. Um, but if you look, I have these um, GIFs here. And so I can click on here. And this one's actually pretty easy. There's a link that says embed. I'm going to click on this. Here's a tip. You want to make it responsive. Responsive means no matter what the size is, this will resize. So if I'm on my phone, it will make it smaller. If I'm on a big screen, it will make it larger. You basically just click on it. I just right click and copy and then you go paste that code wherever you'd like to put it. The next one is Twitter. So you can actually take um, a Twitter post and embed a Twitter post into your website or WordPress site or whatever. I'm going to use mine as an example, of course. Let's go here. And basically what you're going to do is choose embed tweet. Super duper easy, right? Same thing. You can copy it here. Notice that um, it's asking if you want to include the media or not. So these are the additional items and it gives you a preview. Some of these you'll find that the code will give you additional options like YouTube, which we'll get to in a second. Here you'll see Pinterest. So Pinterest you can also embed. So I'm going to go to just any old post that I have. You click on the post and you have to click in the post. You can't do this um, from the outside. Once you click on the post, you look for these three dots and click on embed. Notice it's giving you a lot more options here. So you can actually embed it in different ways, but it gives you more options um, for actually embedding your code. And then moving on to the next one, YouTube. This is another easy one. I'm gonna go to a video I have. Let's see what my latest video is. I just posted that actually. And instead of clicking on share and just copying the link here, you can actually go down to the bottom and click on embed and this will give you the code for YouTube. Now YouTube's adding more and more options. What I love about YouTube is if you have a specific starting point, you can actually specify where you want the video to start. Okay. I always turn off suggested videos because when you have that checked, it may suggest videos that aren't yours. So if you put it on your site, you really don't want to give traffic to other videos. Um, and then you could turn on or off the player controls. I leave that because people might want to rewind it or replay it. I turn off the title usually. And then there's additional options that you can use here. But for the most part, this should be easy. Just a quick tip with embedding YouTube videos. You can actually change the width and the height here if you'd like. And you can do that before you copy it. Next up is Facebook. So if you go to Facebook, let's close these. So if you go to Facebook and you have a post, I'm going to go to, let's go to Socially Nina. I'm just going to go to one of my posts that I've posted recently. Facebook is very similar. I can go to this post here, choose embed. Let me close this real quick. There you go. Choose embed. 
And notice you can show a preview and then there's also advanced settings. In the advanced settings, there's a lot here. I'm not going to go through it, but here's the um, width that you can change. Then there's additional options that you can set here. So I would suggest going through this just to make sure that you um, have exactly what you want um, actually posted. If nothing else, just copy the stuff at the top and you'll be fine. These are just extra geeky, nerdy ways to embed. We're going to round it out with Instagram. So I have a post here. Let's actually click on princess. Okay, so I have my post here on Instagram. I go to the bottom right hand corner, click on the dots, and you guessed it. I'm going to click on embed and it allows me to copy the code. And you get the choice of including the caption here or just leaving it without. So I hope that helped with the questions that you guys have. Once again, it's really easy to just embed things into your website to landing pages. It just makes it a lot funner than just having text or regular images. So try it out and let me know how it works. If you have any questions, let me know. Ciao.